Okay, here we are to work on the uh, new SAT test number one, section three, math, no calculator. A pediatrician uses the model above to estimate the height h of a boy in inches in terms of the boy's age, a, in years between the ages of two and five. Based on the model, what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year? Okay. So uh, I want to take a look at the model, uh, and we want to think about what the variables stand for. Uh, now some of them are more obvious than others, but it never hurts to indicate what they really stand for. Uh, so I would probably just write right underneath here what they mean. Uh, plus 28.6. Okay, so once again, once again we have this sort of constant in an equation, so we're seeing a, a bit of a pattern here. Um, Clearly that's something they wanted to test. Um, and uh, the age A is between the years of two and five, so there's a, you know, a limited range uh, during which this equation is going to work. Based on the model, what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year? Okay, well, uh, between the ages of two and five, right? Uh, now it doesn't say inclusive or not inclusive or exclusive. I mean, it, I'm going to assume that means inclusive, right? Uh, I don't know for sure. I wish they would have told me, but we'll we'll take a look. Maybe there's only one answer that would work uh, if we do it both ways. So, based on the model, what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height? each year. Okay, well, like on so many other questions on the SAT, you want to just plug in some numbers and test. Uh, we know that there's only so many ages uh, that we can test here. Uh, it's basically, there's the age 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right? Um, now, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, I mean, one thing you might want to do is you know, just plug all those numbers in individually, you know, and so it's going to be the difference of the 3a. You have the 28.6, but the, fun the funny thing about the 28.6 is that it's basically irrelevant, you know, um, because we're looking for the increase in height in each year, you know, uh, so since the 28 applies uh, to every year, since we're adding that 28.6 inches to each year, uh, if you think about it, it doesn't really have any relevance to the increase. The increase all comes with age. So basically it just comes down to that 3a, you know. Um, so if we plug in 2, 3, 4, and 5 for a, and we think about the fact that the equation is 3a, we might even want to just make a table here. Sometimes it's nice to, uh, you know, be able to make a table in an instance like this uh, to organize your information. So I'm not going to use the ruler. I'm just going to do a messy table. I <laughs> uh, still haven't got entirely comfortable with the ruler tool here. Actually, you know what? Let me try it. Bear with me. These videos are free. OK, so let's take a look here. There we go. It's a little bit tilted, but it's still a lot straighter than it was to begin with. OK, and now I go back to drawing. Hopefully this works without incident. Okay, so we're going to plug in uh, our different A values. Oh, here we go again. Uh, oh, let's get off of this. Let's try this again. A, there we go. Okay, uh, A, uh, and then basically 3A. You know, so A could be 2, 3, 4, or 5. At least that's what we're figuring. Uh, and then, so what would 3a be? Okay, well, we just multiply by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. And what you start to realize is it doesn't really matter whether we consider 2 and 5 or whether we just consider 3 and 4. Either way, uh, it's a, a plus 3 increase from year to year, and that's all they're really asking for. Uh, they're not asking for an average. They're just asking for the increase from year to year. Uh, and so the increase from year to year uh, is A, 3. 